What's up, fellow YouTubers? Make this video quiet, quick, and to the point. Munching out on some delicious pizza. What can I say? My fans are awesome. I don't ask them to do anything for me other than watch my videos and support me. You know, I don't ask them to do any of this kind of thing. My fans send me food and money and care packages, you know. And that makes trolls jealous. It does. They see someone with autism who's more well liked than they are. So yeah, the other trolls will make fun of me for practicing magic. They'll make fun of me for getting free pizza and money from my fans who do it without me asking. They just do it because they love my videos. At the end of the day, it just shows you that the trolls are jealous. Google AdSense should be coming in either today or tomorrow. One of the two. And right now I'm making my money making wands and doing YouTube videos, so can't say I'm complaining there. Earlier today, I got my dentist office mixed up with another one apparently there are two within the same general area I walk in there there's no one in there I'm waiting for like 30 to 40 minutes come to find out I went to the wrong dentist place and they were on their lunch break so I already felt stupid as we all do when we make mistakes. Didn't help that I got into an argument over it. Now, if I would have just mentioned that I didn't know it was the wrong one because they were on their lunch break, yada, 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 there wouldn't have even been any issue over it. But needless to say, we got it squared away. I don't know why I was just in a really shitty mood earlier and bitching to myself. I don't do that often, you know, it's a rare occasion. But as I rescheduled my dentist appointment, got it all squared away found the right location, all that. You know, they were very nice and very understanding. I appreciate that. But as I'm walking out the door, there is an elderly gentleman escorting a vision disabled woman up the stairs next to me. And I stepped out of the way. I stepped out of the way so she could have an easy walkway. The man apologized. I'm like, bro, don't be sorry. I got a friend who's blind, so I know how that goes. No worries, man. You know? And I went from being pissed about 
the minor mistake to going, you know, it could be worse. She got up the stairs with a smile on her face, you know. She didn't let the shit she was dealt with get to her, so. I don't know, YouTube. But what I do know is sometimes when you're having a crappy day or things aren't going exactly the way you want them to, when you're having a bad day, sometimes you'll see how other people are affected in their day-to-day -day life. And when you see what other people have to go through with their life, you know, sometimes you're like, you know, it's not as bad as it could be. I should have just made a video, went for a bike ride, hung out with some friends and got over it, but no. You know, you know it's funny that when you're clumsy, you're most clumsiest when you're angry or upset. And sometimes little things just pile up on top of each other and you try to blow it off and just be like, yeah, it is what it is. But that's a natural human reaction. I don't care what anyone says. You know, you start off with one little incident and then another one happens and another one happens and another one happens. And it just piles up, you know. It's natural to get mad. But sometimes when I get mad, the autism comes out and then I get self-conscious of it if I'm in public or what have you and it's not a good look YouTube I'm not gonna say my temper is perfect but it's a thousand times better having autism is really no excuse for having a temper And then I seen this post on Facebook, it just made me roll my eyes like, uh... And it's the post like that, that I seen earlier, I was just like, rolling my eyes like, bro, this is... This is stupid. Now, I try not to judge people based off what they post on Facebook. However, we've all seen, as adults who use Facebook, we've all seen those posts where they're like, a lack of sex, have you angry at shit like, and then they list some stupid thing like, why is the grass growing, you know, a stupid posts like that. You know, one, it makes you see you're not the only one going without it, and two, you know, you see that society collectively is either really prude about it or they're in your face about it. Almost as if, you know, and this is the only difference, food is a need, sex is not. Okay? You don't need sex to survive, you don't. Food, however, you do. Okay? But it's the principle of the matter. Could you imagine being really hungry? Really, really hungry. And the lack of food makes you cranky. That's a real thing. It's called being hangry. That's a real thing. Okay? But letting sex make you grumpy or happy depending on how much you get. You're letting something like that have that much control over your life. That's, that's different, you know. Ugh. Now, it's natural to get depressed when you haven't had someone in a while. That's one thing. But to let it consume you to the point where you're bitching about it on social media. I've been there, done that, brought the t-shirt. So, I'm like, I'm one to fucking talk with my double standard videos. But at some point, whenever I see someone else complaining about the lack of sex in their life, you know, it makes the dry spell seem a bit easier to deal with. 
knowing that one, I could be in a relationship with a girl who doesn't appreciate me, and two, it could be worse. People who bitch about the lack of sex in their life, what's worse, that or being married, married to someone for 85 plus years, and then your other half dies before you do. So if you want to bitch about a lack of sex, like, oh, boo-hoo, poor you. Imagine being married to your life partner for X amount of years, and then one of you dies before the other one. All of a sudden, that dry spell doesn't seem so bad after all, does it? Now, truth be told, anyone, any adult can fuck. That's, that's, you know... It don't mean shit unless you're with a girl or a guy that or it means something to you, you know. That goes for both genders. Huh? Furthermore, I think men should be allowed to express their emotions and have standards. Just like women should be allowed to fuck as much dick as they want without being judged. But if women got treated like men, they would fucking hate it. You know, when men experience pain, we're told to quit being a pussy and just suck it up. And I hate to be like this, ladies, but this is the nicest way of putting it. Imagine for a one second if you're having the worst period you've ever fucking had. You're cramping, you're bloated, and lady problems out the Asperger's, okay? And when you're complaining about how much it hurts and how much it sucks, you get told you're not allowed to have any emotion. You get told, suck it up, buttercup. It's just a period. You would fucking hate it. If people told you that you're just overreacting or to quit sh you know what I'm saying? That's a bit far to prove my point, but that's just it. Is women will get sympathy in our society, but men won't. You see all these movements for women's rights and women's positivity, women's body, this, women, da, 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 da. But you don't see this for men. Now, I've Googled the word sexism and done that bit for YouTube a thousand times, but there was an article that I seen. I was reading a small section of it, and I just wanted to puke. Not to be a sexist, but this article sounds like it was written by a feminazi, which there is a difference. A feminist will fight for female equality without being a bitch about it. Feminazis are basically wannabe feminists who are sexist towards men. Now the question begs, can women be sexist? Yes. That doesn't mean that men are innocent in it either. The reason why it's called sexism is because collectively, both genders play some part in it. Assuming that I'm a pig because I got a dick and balls between my legs, is that not a sexist statement based off of my gender? And the argument you constantly hear women say is they're tired of society calling them all bitches and hoes, but they turn around and call them all men pigs. So really, no one's, you know what I'm saying, YouTube, no one's happy in that regard. And instead of looking at, oh, hey, we're both being called names, nobody likes it, you know, they're sitting there going, well, it's all your fault. No, it's all your fault. You hear women make those stereotypical comments, men, am I right? And all the ladies just snicker like, he, 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 he. Although some of my rants are a bit more adult-orientated, they hold some fair point. Okay, so I'll put the link in the description box below. This is from ThoughtCo.com. And the article is entitled, What is Sexism? Defining a Key Feminist Term. Okay, so sexism is no longer about discrimination based off of your gender. It's now strictly a feminist term again with again we're victimizing women with this crap 
Okay, if we're trying to raise strong, independent women, then this negative stereotype that sexism typically happens to women, as Google's dictionary puts it, that cannot exist, YouTube. It simply can't. Okay, but... Uh, there's so many... There's just a bunch of BS in this. Some of it holds some fair point. I didn't read through all of it. But I saw a couple questions on here that... Okay. The two biggest questions that a lot of people ask when it comes to sexism is can women be sexist and are men oppressed by sexism against women? The simplest answer is yes to both of those. The longer answer is yes and no. It de really depends on because it's natural human instinct to be prejudiced or hateful towards a certain group if a certain group has treated you a certain way. It's not fair, but that's life. So if a woman, for instance, has had nothing but shitty boyfriends, her view and outlook towards men is going to be untrustworthy. She's going to think all you men are the same and she's sick of dating, blah, 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 blah. You know, sometimes it's her, and sometimes, more than anything, it's the men she dates. You know, it could be a combination of either one. Whenever I see a woman who complains about sexism, but then she's a sexist towards men, I'm always like, huh? No, sexism is wrong regardless of who it happens to. I'm not going to sit here and hold favoritism to men just because I'm a, I'm a man. I'm not going to be a kiss-ass and say, you know. No, sexism is just wrong no matter who it happens to, really. Men or women, it doesn't matter. Just like racism is wrong, it doesn't matter what race you are, you know. And at the end of the fucking day, we're all human beings, so... We all bleed the same color of blood. It doesn't matter if you're man, woman, polka dotted, black, white, brown, green, yellow, striped, you know. So when I got my trolls giving me shit, you know, misunderstandings happening, just little minuscule annoying shit, you know, just the kind of crap that it's not too serious, but... It's enough to drive anyone nuts, you know. And really, trolls are just like a lack of sex. You can let it get to you and have a miserable life, or you could just laugh at it. You know, that's a great way to look at it, to be quite honest. I see all these people bitching about the lack of sex on Facebook and social media, and I'm like, you're going to regret posting that. <laughs> When you find the right one, you're going to regret posting that. You're going you're gonna to look at that and go, oh my god, I was so whiny. Why the fuck did I post that? And you're instantly going to regret that. A couple years back, I saw an article on CNN that just made me quit bitching about a lack of sex, period. Well, I've seen several articles like that, you know, but this one in particular, this couple had survived the Las Vegas shooting only to die in a car crash two weeks later. And I seen that, and that was just like, dude, that's fucking heavy. When you survive a tragedy like that, your love for one another could only grow stronger only to have your lives cut short two weeks later over some mild other ridiculous bullshit like what the fuck you know that just shows you how fucked life is still bitching about that dry spell well could you imagine having propylene which is a disease that affects older men which is a um, form of erectile dysfunction and it has no treatment. The only option is leave it the way it is or cut it off.
I'm raising awareness for this because I got a friend who has it. I'm not going to name names. But could you imagine being married to your other half and not being able to fuck them? Or make love to them would be a more PC way of putting it. Yeah, but... Of course, people now get offended if you're PC. You know, you get these fucking people who are sitting there with their... I stand for the National Anthem shirts and getting pissed off and people get offended by it. Like, listen here, you white piece of shit. Why don't you check your privilege? You me too, spineless. You know, the thing about living in America that makes it awesome is we're entitled to freedom of speech. So if you see someone wearing Make America Great Again hat or I stand for the Pledge of Allegiance shirt, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? They have that right, just like you have the right to be offended, you know. And these people who wear these, I saw this ad on YouTube and it triggered me because this white guy is going on YouTube whining about his freedom of speech being taken away. I'm like, bro, you're advertising for what you believe in on YouTube and you're whining about how your freedom of speech is getting taken away. Huh? And most of these would-be Christians in the ad were holding up their signs and protesting, trying to start the next big movement. And it's like, most of you don't even know what discrimination is. Christians have never been discriminated against. Never. <coughs> <coughs> Christians have never been discriminated against. They haven't. Every other religion's been fucked with. Here's the kicker of it. You get these extremists who say the only we the the only reason to even have religion is to you know have faith and blah 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 like just the talking loopholes around you, man. People do this thing called a plethora of words to make it sound worse or better than it really is. It's verbal gymnastics. And when I read these two sections of words here that can women be sexist and are men oppressed by sexism against women the question is this article dares to ask and the kicker of it is is if women are sexist towards men they're seen as brave but if men do it to women we're seen as assholes but um I'm not gonna get into that <laughs> That is a, um, let's just not go there. No, I'm not even going to get into that. I use a bunch of words to try to sell you on their bullshits, what they're doing, basically. And you can tell when a feminazi writes the article because... Feminazis look for drama and they look for sympathy. They want people to feel sorry for women and that kind of thing while calling themselves feminist. And that ruins the feminist movement. That's not empowering. Victimizing yourself as a woman, and that's not empowering. Saying that you're a goddess and you're going to let that shit roar. That, that's empowerment, ladies. But we ask the question, the article asks the question, the first one, if you'd like to peruse this article, I'll put it in the uh, description box below. Uh, yeah, this is the kind of crap that um, makes me sympathize with women, you know, makes me appreciate them a man. I feel guilty about the way women get treated, but the thing of it is, I can't control what other men do to women. I can only control how I treat women, so. 
Women, you know what that's like when the cunts and the bitches make women look bad. It's no different from men and the pigs and the assholes. Pardon my French. Can women be sexist? Women can be conscious or unconscious collaborators in their own oppression if they accept the basic premises of sexism. Okay, so the basic premises of sexism, as I've Googled it how many times on my channel, is prejudiced stereotyping, stereotyping or discrimination typically against women. So the basic premises is that it typically happens to women, victimizing women, blah, 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 yada, 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 yada. That men have more power than women because they deserve more power than women. Sexism by women against men would only be possible in a system in which the balance of social, political, cultural, and econ uh, economic power was measurably in the hands of women, a situation which does not exist today. See, I would call bullshit on that because women are no longer 50s housewives. They don't live in caves with their hairy-ass caveman husband, you know. Women are now politicians, cops, doctors, scientists, you know. Women are going out there and getting jobs, and I think that's fucking awesome. So, when you see this article, you'll see that little section right there that I'm talking about, and you're just like, yeah, but... You say that in the article, but a situation which does not exist today, I call bullshit on that. I call bullshit on that super hard. You know, these feminazis go off about how women are not housewives, stop victimizing women. And then they turn around and victimize women by saying what pieces of shit men are. You, you think I don't feel enough girl guilt because of this shit? I mean, women are going on. Women are constantly going on. Quit mansplaining. Okay, well then quit girl guilting. Okay, tone it down, Cobra. That's a little too far. Okay, whoa. Like, I have no control what these fucking assholes do to you. Maybe, you know, you want to judge me because I'm goth? That's your fucking loss. You want to reject me because I'm autistic? That's your fucking loss. Oh, I'm straight up laughing at the chicks who rejected me in the past. Straight up laughing at the chicks who rejected me in the past. I'm like, you know, you want a nice, honest guy who works hard for his honest money? Or do you want some sleaze bag who treats you like shit? You know, this is a point that I made in one of my previous videos. I feel like a lot of women, they choose dirtbag pieces of shit men for several reasons. One, they think they're not good enough. Two, they love drama. Or three, they want people to feel sorry for them. Because men are assholes. Uh, it's usually one of those three. Common denominator right there, you two. Uh, you know, if women reject me because they judge me, that's their loss. But if they reject me because of my trolls, well, that just means my trolls are jealous pricks. You know, the time trolls spend trying to fuck with me, they could be getting their own girlfriend and their own job. But instead, they gotta pick on me because they're jealous of my success. It's quite sad, actually. And sure, my trolls are assholes, but guess what? My fans will treat my girlfriend like a queen. I treat her like a goddess. Believe that. 
Those are the perks to dating a YouTube celebrity. My last girlfriend w went to the hospital for something mild, and it was snowing outside. I was at a friend's house clear across town, and it, it was a bit of a walk to the hospital. I had no other way to get there, so I walked. I got there freezing my Asperger's off. I got there, and she was fine, you know. And that's how I treat my women. If I have a girlfriend and she's in the hospital, I'm walking if I have no other way. You know, come hell or high water, I'm getting there to make sure she's all right. Because that's how you treat the ladies. But furthermore to the point, I mean, nobody likes being reminded of why they're hungry. Nobody likes being reminded that they're lonely. You know, nobody likes being reminded that they're lonely. So, you know, there was some point to my angry sex rants. You know what I'm saying? And if all you took from that video is, oh, Josh needs to get laid, then you're missing my point entirely. And you're part of the problem. Oh boy, this article is something else because I read that first chunk of paragraph and I was like, barf. You know... This whole can, you know, instead of asking an honest and legit question, the statement itself was just sexist towards women. It wasn't a legit answer to that question. It was just one of those, like I said, verbal gymnastics bullshit that they pull to basically sum up that men are just assholes. If women accept that as the basis of sexism, but, eh, so really it's up for interpretation. Are men oppressed by sexism against women? Yes, 100%. You know, there are a lot of decent people out there and they don't get the fair chance because of the negative stereotypes associated with each individual gender. That's why you see men going on their own, women bitching about how they don't need no stinking man in their life. And while the dry spell does stink, it could be worse. I'm not complaining about that. No. Mm -mm. Not when I got a bunch of fangirls who watch my videos, you know. I had a fangirl send me a picture of herself standing in her bra and panties, hoping it was the real King Cobra JFS, and when she found out it was, oh yeah, she was happy. You know, and that cheered me up a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. It didn't have, she didn't have to send me a picture of her bra and panties and her standing in it. It, doesn't, it didn't even have to be naked, for that matter. The fact that she even took the time to say, hey, I think you're cute, is a picture of me, you know, I just want to let you know I'm a real fan. That makes me feel good. You see, men are simple, we're not that complicated. That could be another reason why I'm single, is because a lot of women will see my fangirls and go, oh great competition <coughs> I wouldn't look at it as competition <coughs> I look at it as you get to have me they don't ladies I wouldn't look at it as competition I look at it as you get to have me, the fangirls don't. They wish they they wish they could be you. That's a better way to look at it. Yeah. 
I had to get up early for the dentist appointment. I'm not missing it. I don't want to go, but it's part of maintaining the human body. You know, you take good care of your teeth. You won't have to go to the dentist very often. That's just a fact of life. And you'll ignore it when you're younger, but you'll find out when you're older. That's just how it is. I mean, I drink soda pop, I smoke tobacco, the dentist is probably going to look at me going, good God, man, how the fuck are your teeth not rotted out? Crazier things have happened. That's off topic, but I'm going to kick these boots off and read the second chunk of words here. If you want to check out this article for yourself, like I said, I'll put it in the description box below. You can read it for yourself and, I guess, make your own based assumption. Assumptions and opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one, and they all stink. If you didn't hear it from the cobra's mouth, it's probably not true. You know, you'd, you'd hope that people have enough common sense to realize this, but... Eh. I find the lack of intelligence in our society disturbing. Uh, okay, Darth Vader, calm down. I don't mean for that to sound condescending, but... <sighs> but we get to the second half of this article. A little chunk right here. Are men oppressed by sexism against women? I think sexism oppresses both genders, to be quite honest. You know, when this negative stereotype that all men want is pussy, then inadvertently it makes women entitled to dick and it gives men this negative double standard. But then you hear women constantly complain when men just use them for sex. And again, it's the same argument but in reverse. And that's exactly my point, YouTube. If men and women started focusing, if men and women started focusing on their similarities instead of their differences, the dating scene would be so much easier. So instead of saying, oh, that person needs to get laid, how about saying, oh, that person wants to get laid? That's a better way of saying it. Because everybody wants more sex. Everybody wants more money. That's just how it is when you're an adult sometimes. And this is... The kicker of it, if men get lots of pussy, they're called a stud, but if women get lots of dick, they're called a slut. If men bitch about their dry spell, if men bitch about their dry spell, they get told all you men want is pussy. If women bitch about their dry spell, they get told, go get you some girl. <sighs> I think every human has the right to complain when they get lonely from time to time. That is what I would call a natural human action, reaction.
But uh, let's read the second half of this. Are men oppressed by sexism against women? Some feminists have argued that men should be allies in the fight against sexism because men too are not whole in a system of emotional male hierarchies. In a part particular part in a patriarchal society, men are themselves in a hierarchical relationship in each other with more benefits to the males at the top of the power pyramid. Okay, so basically it's saying if you're a man in power, you're going to have, you know, a better life. And I feel like that's true for women, too. If women who are in power also have advantages that men beneath them don't have. But this whole men competing with men bullshit is basically what that's pointing to. Um, that's nothing new. Women compete with each other all the time, and it's disgusting. You see women slut-shaming each other. You see men demasculating each other. And it's just like, no. No. Others have argued that males, males benefit from sexism, even if that benefit is not a consciously expressed. Experienced on thought is more weightly than whatever negative effects those with more power may experience. Okay, now those arguing that men and women should be uniting against sexism because it affects both genders, these people have the right idea. YouTube, you know, if men and women are working together to end sexism instead of against each other, pointing fingers, that sort of thing, all of a sudden there becomes this mutual respect for one another. And unfortunately, those who have more political or whatever you want to call it, power, hierarchy, social status, those who are higher up in society tend to get away with more. And that's true for both genders. When women and men both take advantage of power and status, and sometimes they let it go to their head. Corruption, greed, or I believe two of society's less desirable traits. Uh, Others have argued that males benefit... Okay, I already read all that. Um, feminist Robin Morgan put it this way, and let's put one lie to rest for all time. The lie that men are oppressed to by sexism is the, the lie that there can be such a thing as men's liberation groups oppression is something that one group of people commits against another group specifically because of a threatening charismatic shared by the latter group skin color or gender or age etc so in a way she's saying that can men really bitch about discrimination when discrimination happens to everyone at some point or another? I think is what she's trying to say. When I first read that, I was like, wait, what? But that is a good question. Can any one of us bitch about oppression when it always could be worse? <laughs> You know, maybe you're having a sour day and you see how the shoe fits on the other foot. 
all of a sudden you're like, you know, it's not as bad as it could be. Well, YouTube, I gotta get my alarm set, get my phone plugged in. Yep. The dentist office was nice enough to reschedule my appointment for a latter date, which was more convenient for me as I had missed it, and therefore, it'd be wise to be responsible with that kind of thing. rant video if you want to check out the article I'll put the link for it in the description box below good lord is it really two o'clock in the morning son of a bitch I did not mean to stay up this late I really did not Sometimes it happens. Well, I want to wrap the video up and leave you with it, tubes. Uh, we go ahead and copy that article. There we go. 47 minutes of this. Oof. Well, YouTube, I do thank you for watching this political rant, if you want to call it that. Women need to stop trying to compete with men. We live in different worlds. You want to fight for more rights? I'm down for that 100%. And that's just the nicest way of putting it, you know. Start fighting for your own thing. Competing for, you know, doing your own thing. You hear women who are going on about how they're sick and tired of working for men and blah, blah, blah. Okay, if you're sick and tired of it, then go out there and make your own business, you know. So I'm saying YouTube. One thing that can be shared amongst both genders, misunderstandings suck. But don't try not to, it's easier said than done sometimes, but try not to let misunderstandings get to you. Because what's going to make that situation de-escalate quicker is not letting that misunderstanding get to you. Anyways, Tubes, thanks for watching the rant. Fuck sexism, fuck racism. Life is too short to be a judgmental prick. Thank you for watching. If you like this style of rant, subscribe for more. Let's see if we can't get the channel to uh, 10,000 subs.
Anyways, Tubes, I do thank you for watching and have an awesome day.